In this video, I'll show you how to remove the phone number field from your WooCommerce checkout in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce, it's free. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. So now the second step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you'd go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload a plugin in which you've just installed. Once you've done so, you'll see this AIO checkout menu here for all-in-one checkout. Go ahead and click on it. And now the third step is to go ahead and create a new checkout field. So we'll click create new checkout here. And now before we do anything, we'll go ahead and enable this um, checkout field as our default WordPress checkout. So we'll go settings and then we'll set this to enable. We can go ahead and name this checkout in the case you want to have multiple different um, checkout fields and layouts for various scenarios. So I'm just going to name this one default checkout. Okay, because this will be our global checkout. And we'll set this to apply to everyone. In the future, you'll have various um, conditional options as well. Okay, so now that's done. First, let's go ahead and check our checkout page here. So this is the default WooCommerce checkout. Okay, and now when we head back to fields here, we'll scroll down to where it says phone number here. And then all we got to do is toggle this eye icon and this will disable this phone field here. So let's hit save changes. And now when we refresh this page, we should see our new checkout layout along with the phone number field being removed. Okay, so we can't see a phone number field here. And by default, it's using the one column layout. So if you wanna change that to two columns, we'll head to design and then we'll just select two columns here. In the future, you'll have multiple different um, layouts to choose from. However, for now, you get to choose from single column or two column, and then you can go ahead and customize it with your um, preferred page builder. Okay, so now when we head back over to the checkout here, when we refresh this page, okay, so now we're back to that traditional two column layout, and we can no longer see the phone fields. So that's how you disable the phone fields. If you wanted to add extra fields, you can go ahead and click this settings icon here, and then you can go ahead and drag and drop the particular field in which you wanna add it to your checkout page, okay? So we can edit this as well. So this is a checkbox field. So we can say something like, um, by placing an order, you agree to our terms of service, or something like that, right? And then we'll just go ahead and save changes. And again, this should reflect on our checkout page. So now when we refresh this page, Okay, so now you can see our checkbox here, currently set to optional, you can set this to required, and you can add numerous different fields as well. In the future, we'll add the option for you to create conditional fields. And that's how you remove the phone field from your WooCommerce checkout page without touching a single line of code. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.